morning everybody we're on interstate 80 in indiana a rest area one of the service centers that they have here on the toll road we got these three trailers on our back today and i'm in a big rush tomorrow we have family pictures at 6 30 p.m i have about 1700 kilometers to go so I have to drive all day today as far as I can, get as far as I can, as fast as I can. And then tomorrow I should have about a half day left of driving, which should get me home. Right now I'm gonna say between noon and three o'clock. As the day goes on, I'll have a more accurate ETA, but I cannot get home any later than three because three o'clock, that's cutting it close already. I'm trying to get home for noon because I need to be back at our yard I need to leave these, trailer, <coughs> these trailers tied down in the yard, just a little bit. I can take some of the straps off, but I have to leave them secured because they're gonna get unloaded on Monday and we don't want them to roll off. So we have to leave some securement on there. But I uh, have to take some of my equipment off, drop the trailer, and then get the truck to the shop, get all my stuff out, get home, get showered, get all fancied up for our family pictures. My mom got like a fancy photographer and everything. So it's a big deal. I can't miss it. I don't have too much time to sit around here and talk. I just wanted to show you uh, what I got on my back today. It's a pretty light load and it slices through the air pretty good. I was saying at the end of yesterday's video, it's sort of a bit of a parachute up at the front of my trailer there. Uh, sort of grabs it, some of the air, but these trailers have this V shape in the front, which helps to slice through it. So we should get pretty good fuel economy, um, but today's video is mostly just gonna be driving. Lots of driving, 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 road footage. I need to get going. I'm gonna go in here and grab a coffee. Let's get this over with. It's gonna be a long day. All right, we got our coffee. I'm set, ready to go. I've got food in the truck. Let's see how far we can get and how fast we can get there today. time to mess around we'll get back on interstate 80 westbound this is still a tollway here that's why we have such a fancy service plaza rest area it's one good thing about the toll roads no scales and really good rest areas so at least you get something for it right
this is the only real obstacle. I gotta go through Minneapolis tomorrow, or maybe even later tonight. We'll see how far I get. That's the only other city where there could be some delays, but not likely, not likely like in Chicago. service announcement. Don't take your half hour break in the pumps. It's been a crazy day already. Crazy driving. But the traffic actually hasn't been that bad. The worst traffic was actually in Wisconsin. All Illinois plates. And I realized, huh, this weekend coming up when I'm filming this is a long weekend. It's September, uh, September 1st. Or the first weekend in September. It's a lot of Labor Day weekend. So I'm like, why is there so much traffic? What are all these Illinois people doing in Wisconsin? And then I thought of it. Oh, it's Friday before a long weekend. They're all going to their cabins or they're all going to the lake. I made it past Minneapolis. I still have an hour left on my clock. I'm just going past Rogers here. So I'm gonna see how far I can get yet. Continue on this road for 14 kilometers. I might stop at Clearwater. I'll have to check to see how far this hour will get me. I don't want to run out of time. I'd like to go as far as possible at, so that tomorrow this little ways to go as possible. Though it doesn't matter, at this point we're going to make it home tomorrow. So I probably should pull over up here in Clearwater. At least I know I'll get parking there. I just don't know if I'm tired enough to fall asleep yet. I'm still wide awake. That's the thing, if you pull over too soon and you're still wide awake and you can't sleep, and the morning comes, you gotta get trucking. You're even more tired the next day. That's why these hours of service are a little ridiculous sometimes. I 
I get why they're there, but just like this. If I stop now, I probably won't be able to sleep. And then I'll wake up in the morning only getting maybe what? Three, four hours of sleep. Because I wasn't tired. started early. So at the end of the day, you have no problem finding parking. Here we are, Speedway. Let's see if we can find a decent parking spot for ourselves. Hats off to this driver here, trying to stay healthy. Going for a run or a, a jog at the truck stop. That's awesome, that's good to see. Feels good, feels good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at this, we're done our day and the sun is still up. Isn't that weird? <laughs> oh, what were we saying about starting early and ending early? Feels good. Usually, it just usually turns out that my days take me late into the night. It's a fenced in area here, which I assume is for dogs to play in. I remember taking Diesel out of the truck and playing with him here many times. There's vlogs of me running around with Diesel in there back when he could still run so sad to see him getting old. He celebrated his 13th birthday on August 28th. 13 and he's showing it. He's uh, he's not doing so hot. I'll show you when I get home. He's still healthy. He's still himself but it's his back hips that are giving him trouble. They're not to the point where uh, like we got to be overly, overly concerned, but it definitely has our attention. He's having trouble getting up the couple of stairs into the house still. He definitely can't run, can't run for very long. And if I wanted to take him with me on the truck, even with those steps that I had for him, th there's no way. There's no way he could do that over and over, day after day anymore. So being 13 years old, I mean, gonna have to I don't even want to say I don't want to think about it <laughs> I have to start thinking about uh, how much longer we have with him there's some nice Jake brakes coming that make me feel better though that's nice I can brighten anyone's mood that sounds nice but yeah, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna have with him. Diesel is retired, so he's at home with Britt and his brothers. Uh, he has a nice fenced yard. He's well taken care of, pampered, spoiled. <laughs> he 
he's enjoying his retirement. His days of trucking are, are over. Like forever, they're over. I've still got many days of trucking ahead of me. It's, uh, I wish I could share more days with him. But, uh, you know, we're gonna make this Christmas very special for him. It's, as you guys know who've been following us for long enough, Christmas is our, our favorite time of year. Uh, it's definitely my favorite time of year, hands down. And so we're gonna make this Christmas extra special for him. Because to tell you the truth, I don't know if he's going to have another Christmas after this one. I hope so. I hope he will. I hope he'll have another Christmas or two after this one. Maybe he'll have another couple. But just in case this is his last one, uh, we're going to make it super special for him. And then, uh, you know, he's on a couple of medications right now. Uh, he's been seeing the vet to see what we can do to make him more comfortable to uh, reduce the pain he might have in his hips, to figure out what's going on with them. Obviously it's old age, but well, we're talking with the vet regularly to find out uh, the best remedy of what we can do to uh, make things better for him. You know, and make him as comfortable as possible in his last few years of life. But yeah, being in this field here, like there's the truck over, that's where I usually park. And oh, then I don't have any neighbors. <laughs> <coughs> and uh, yeah, this, this fenced in area right here. This is where I would always take diesel and we would just rip around. I should go back and find those videos. I know there's one that's like titled something about dogs on the road or trucking with dogs or something like that and it was specifically in this this field right here just ripping around good times good times so anyways it's uh time for me to go to bed it's gonna be another early morning tomorrow i cannot sleep in so i will set my alarm and uh, we stopped here at eight o'clock we will be rolling at 6.15 tomorrow morning. So I'll be up probably at about 5.30. We'll get this show on the road. We're going to get home and take some pictures. I really don't want to miss them. Like I was saying earlier, uh, my parents, they actually uh, uh, got a professional photographer and paid for a prof professional photographer because we want really good family pictures. So uh, I don't want to ruin it for everybody and uh, not show up because family pictures wouldn't be the same if the whole family wasn't there, you know? They could still take pictures without me, but I mean, I don't want to be a part of it. I'm part of the family. I want to be in the family pictures. <laughs> Man, there's mosquitoes out here. Man, I keep swatting these mosquitoes. Okay, everybody. Old Blue and I signing out from Clearwater, Minnesota. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about me. Share my videos wherever you'd like. Send them back to my channel here. Go to my uh, main page. Check out my playlists. Lots of videos for you there. See you tomorrow.